Kobo ebook readers are great. I really like my little Libra color here. I even have a stylus where I can create notebooks. But what about the highlights and the notes that I take while I'm reading a book? There's no easy way to export those unless you watch this video. In order to export my highlights from this Kobo, if I press and hold on the book where I've taken highlights, I'll receive a menu, but you'll notice that I do not have the option here of exporting highlights. We're going to fix that. It really should be a lot easier, but what we're going to have to do is take our Kobo, connect it to our computer, and edit a configuration file. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to connect my Kobo to my computer. Once it connects to the computer, it'll say connect, and now it's going to appear on my computer as a drive or a directory where I can go in and make a modification. To allow us to export our notes and highlights, we need to make a modification to something called the configuration file. And we need to make the modification to set feature settings, export highlights to be equal to true. So this text here. Where do I find that configuration file? With my Kobo attached to my computer, you'll see that I have my Kobo e-reader. I'll have the directory in here, and this will work on both a Mac and a Windows machine. I will go into my Kobo directory, .kobo. Underneath my .kobo directory, I will see another directory called Kobo. So we're going into Kobo, Kobo. And underneath here, you'll see that we have a file called Kobo ereader.conf, which is my configuration file. If I right click on that file, I'm going to open that up with Notepad. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that up with Notepad. We'll go open with, we'll choose Notepad, and we want to make sure that we use Notepad or a text editor that does not add any additional formatting. You'll notice here that this is quite large, so I'm just going to zoom out here so it's a little bit smaller for me, and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put in some blank space above the general section. I'm going to go into my feature settings. I'm going to take that text, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into here. I could type it in as well, whichever works best for me. And then I'm going to go into file and I'm going to save it. So I'm going to make sure that I don't change the type of, I'm not going to change it to a text file. I'm just going to go in, put this value in there, and now I've made a change to the Kobo ereader.conf or configuration file. Now you'll notice that when I press and hold on a book, I have a new menu item, export annotations. I can export those annotations. It'll save it as a text file. So we'll go ahead and export that. And I can now use that text file to have all of my annotations easily accessible. Now, when I say easily accessible, it doesn't mean that you can get them on the Kobo. You have to connect your Kobo back to your computer, go into your Kobo directory, and you'll notice there's a directory called exported annotations. If I go in there, you'll see that the annotations that I exported from this book are there. The one that I just exported, which is my digital transformation text. I double click on that and you can see I can open this up in Notepad and at least have access to all of the annotations that I made. It's not the most elegant way of doing things. I think Kobo could do a lot better with this, but at least I can get access to all of my highlights so that I can use them in other applications, like if I'm doing research or something. Thank you so much for watching. Blossom says thank you as well. She's decided to join me, and we'll see you in the next video. Will Blossom be there? I don't know. She's a cat. It's mysterious. She comes and goes as she pleases. See you later. Take care.